Today, I'm going to show five ways to boost your Wi-Fi signals and how to increase your internet speed. The first way is about locating your router in the right place. You need to put your Wi-Fi router in a place where Wi-Fi signals will meet least obstructions on their way in order to optimize your Wi-Fi router. Some of your home appliances may obstruct the signals, refrigerator, washing machine and other steel objects, even wires and so on. So in order to avoid it, we need to place your router as high as possible. The higher you place it, the less obstruction the signals of your router will meet. It has to boost the signal. As a proof of the statement, I can say that I have personally seen so many Wi-Fi routers placed atop in different trade and entertainment centers. Most Wi-Fi routers work on 2.4 spectrum gigahertz. A whole bunch of other home appliances work on the same spectrum. That is why you'd better not place them too close to the router. It is unadvisable to place a router next to a microwave oven because when it works, it interferes with the router's signals. The second way is about channels and frequencies. Our home Wi-Fi routers work on 2.4 spectrum. For the sake of data transmission, the frequencies are divided into certain channels. Now I'm going to show how Wi-Fi routers can interfere with each other. We will use the Insider app for Windows OS and Wi-Fi Analyzer for Android OS. This app scans and lists Wi-Fi networks according to the names of the networks, signal levels, MAC addresses, channels, etc. Check out the link to the app in the video description below. For instance, we are using the first channel now. As we can see, there are three more users besides us with pretty good signals. We use the reverse scale to measure the signal strength. The more the value of the number, the stronger the signal is. Here is our router, and here are the ones of the neighbors that interfere with ours. Anyway, routers are made to work using the same channel for transmitting data, but they will always give way to stronger signal, which in turn will negatively affect the speed. Before choosing a different channel, you need to take into account the fact that channels overlap. For instance, in order to avoid interferences, of the first channel, you need to use the sixth channel rather than the second or the third ones. Otherwise, the router's signals will be overlapping. In order to determine how crowded the channel is, we need to check that out with the help of the app in a place where we use Wi-Fi and in a place where our router is. We need to find out a place where neighbors' hotspots interfere with ours of the least. This is the place where the neighbors' routers interfere with ours of the least. By changing the place of your Wi-Fi router, you will ensure that your router's signals won't be overlapping with those of your neighbors, and consequently, it won't give way to stronger signals and the speed has to increase. In case if changing of your Wi-Fi router's position doesn't help, and your neighbors' Wi-Fi signals interfere with yours, you can shift to 5 GHz, it's usually more free. Only two users are using it. There are way more channels. The third way is using a Wi-Fi repeater. In case of the methods mentioned earlier didn't help you improve your Wi-Fi signals, you can use a Wi-Fi repeater. It works on the same principle as a retransmitter. It receives your existing Wi-Fi signal, amplifies it, and then transmits the boosted signal. It is very easy to set up. I will show you an example using a Huawei WS360 repeater. Let us plug it in, connect to the device in the first list of the Wi-Fi networks, which initially is not secured with the password as soon as the power indicator turns on. Open the browser and type 192.168.1.254 in your address bar. In the end, put the Enter button on your keyboard. Now you are on the administrative panel page. Click the manual connecting button. Here you can see all the networks. Choose the needed one and enter the password if required. Click the connect button, in 10 seconds you will see that your network has been extended. That's it. The fourth way is using a Wi-Fi adapter that will help you extend not only your own Wi-Fi router but also that of your neighbor. Let us connect it to the USB port and start searching for the device. You may need to download a driver for some certain modules of Wi-Fi adapters and also in case of your OS is Windows XP. As usual, Wi-Fi adapters are packed with drivers on compact disks. If you buy an extension cord, seal it into a waterproof container and place it outdoors, you will have access to the hotspots from the neighboring houses, maybe even to the hotspots of all of your neighbors. It is advisable to buy a Wi-Fi adapter with an external antenna. The fifth way is to use an aluminum can reflector. We will need an aluminum can, a knife, a ruler and a highlighter. First of all, let us mark out the aluminum can. Then let us cut the can around the lines. Then shape it into place 
and you are supposed to get such a reflector in the end. The gap between the antenna and the aluminum can has to be about 12 mm. This antenna is roughly 13 mm in diameter. Divide the number by 2 and you have roughly 6.5 mm. The gap between the antenna and the reflector has to be roughly 5 mm. I made one more hole over here and I made sure that the gap between the antenna and the reflector is 12 mm. In order to firmly fix the aluminum can 12 mm away from the antenna. This is extra space of the ruler, it is 7 mm. I subtracted it and I got 5.5 mm wide space from the can to the antenna. You have to point the reflector this side towards the place where internet connection is worse, in order to make your reflector work effectively. If the gap is just 1 mm less or more, the propagation of the signals won't improve. In case if you make everything right, the signal will grow to 4 decibels. Yet in most cases, changing of the position of your booter helps solve the problem. There are lots of ways how to boost antenna's reception or make a do-it-yourself antenna. The simplest antenna is Harchenko antenna, with a boost ratio of up to 12 decibels. We provide detailed explanation of how to make this antenna and how it works in these videos. What internet problems exist in your area? Let us know in your comments below and we will try to solve them together. That's all for now. Bye.